My teacher gave me detention. I didn't resist. Now she says it's rude when I think like a scientist. I had a hypothesis of why she acts insane. It's all the bugs from her yogurt attacking her brain. It's really more of an observation than a hunch, since every day all she takes is a yogurt to lunch. First of all, they're not bugs. Okay, germs then, whatever. They're not germs and they can't cross the blood-brain barrier. Germs are harmful organisms that are single-celled. Well, not viruses. They're just DNA in a shell. Germs are pathogens and we're not talking about those or your mites or your mold or why there's zits on your nose. The vast and varied microscopic worlds all around. They're inhabitants of you, me, the air, sea, and ground. It's impossible to see it with your mirror. You would need a microscope to make it look clearer. The good news is that you're never really alone. The nearest metropolis exists on your brow bone. When you look at a square centimeter of your skin, I don't think you could even begin to imagine the variety of life that is residing on the only thing that you thought was yours alone. I'm talking about bacteria by the millions. In places like armpits, it's closer to a billion. But your armpits aren't even half as populated as your teeth and sugar makes levels elevated. Bacteria are too small for just our eyes to see. In fact, over a billion could fit into a pea. Inside of our bodies, their numbers are the most high, but there's billions of reasons this doesn't make us die. While some bacteria strains cause harm to our body, many others we need there to function properly, like in our gut where there's more bacteria than the ground, called commensal organisms, we want them around. First, they occupy empty space so the bad ones can't. Yogurt's one way to increase these good inhabitants. Inside our stomachs and intestines, this rule applies to the trillion-plus tenants of microscopic size. Many helpful bacteria are there to kill the bad, or scrape residue from our guts like scouring pads. Others maintain and balance stomach acid levels, and acid is vital to the function of this vessel. There are others who break down the milk sugar lactose, or who prevent minerals from forming kidney stones. They help rid our body of mutual enemies and can break down our indigestible food with ease. Certain bacteria may be cancer-preventing. Some produce vitamins right where they're inhabiting, like the B vitamins and more elusive K, which is not easily attained any other way. Bacteria may be simple, single-celled things, but don't underestimate the effects they can bring. It does you no good to think about them with disgust. These bacteria aren't an oddity, they're a must.